1847, on the Scottish island of Bute, a baby was born. Within six months, that baby would be the richest man in the empire. The empire was the British Empire, which was the richest empire the world had ever known. The boy would become the third Marquis of Bute. His wealth was extraordinary. His mother died when he was eight, but he was widely educated and by the age of 21 he decided he wanted to be a Catholic. He travelled, he was a man of great learning and he fell in love with the Gothic style of architecture, God's own architecture. So when in 1877 his main house had a major fire, he decided to rebuild it as a Gothic fantasy. It was to be in red sandstone, it was to be huge and it was to be amazing. It was going to have fantastic grounds and there were wild and exotic beasts roaming outside. When I learned about all that and the fact you could go and see it today, it's called Mount Stewart, I had to go and see. So let's go have a look what you can see. To get to the Isle of Butte you need to go to a place called Wemyss Bay where you catch the ferry from. To get to Wemyss Bay you follow the M8 out of Glasgow and then follow the A78 through the Port Glasgow and Inverkip. The ferries are run by a company called Calmac, uh, the company who runs all of the major Scottish ferry services. The ferries go to Butte about once an hour and a return with a car costs something like £30. Most people just turn up and go, don't pre-book anything. So we drive onto the ferry, park and go up to the passenger deck. The ferry is on its way in a matter of a couple of minutes. Then there is just time for a cup of tea and a bun whilst you enjoy the ride and look out for any interesting sea or bird life. Sadly on this trip we saw nothing. Half an hour later, we're pulling into Rothsay Bay on the Isle of Butte. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall shortly be arriving at our destination. Would all vehicle drivers and their passengers please return to their vehicles? Thank you for travelling with Caledonia McBrain. We drive off the ferry and within moments we have driven out of Rothsay. A few minutes later, we pull into the Mount Stewart Visitor Centre car park. The whole purchase process is tortuous and prolonged. It takes a long time to get your tickets. The house tickets are timed because you have to have a guided tour. The number of tours is limited and you may have to wait a long time. You've come a long way to get here and to give up would not be good. However, once through you enter some verdant woodlands and wander down the paths. But it's beautifully still. We're at Mount Stewart in the kitchen garden. Some wonderful planting here. And behind me you can see an amazing orangery. Let's have a look at that for real. There's the amazing orangery. Let's go into the amazing orangery then. twisted willow there as we go by. Lovely border there, beautiful. We're going to take it in to this amazing orangery. 250 years of breeding, infinite amount of money and you can have one of these. Scent is overpowering. The orangery is more properly known as the Barrett's Octagonal Glass Pavilion. It was the centrepiece at the 1989 Glasgow Garden Festival before being moved here and planted with these exotic trees. Then we are wandering down some more green forest paths. The 
Then the main Mount Stuart building appears. What do you call this place? A home? Or maybe a Gothic palace extraordinary? This is the back of the building, facing out to sea over the manicured lawns. The red Gothic sandstone exterior covers a modern iron backbone, which from the start had central heating, electricity and telephones. When we approach the front of the building, we are beguiled by a rock garden with a dense planting and streams. The azaleas shimmer like flowering gems as the water cascades over the rills. The front of the house has an extraordinarily large entrance porch and steps. We are booked on the tour and it starts as we enter the jaw-dropping marble hall. Let's listen to the guide for a moment. and a very sore neck by the time you're finished in the house. Because you need to look up an awful lot. So that's a bit of a hint. 88 foot above you is all 49 constellations of the Northern Hemisphere in the right of the place since the day the house was built. Silver figures represent the constellations themselves. Gold figures are gods and goddesses to match. The stars are crystals backed with silver. They can be unscrewed, taken down, washed and polished, and then screwed back into their rightful places. But we don't do this anymore. Some of them are threaded into the wrong places, just slightly wrong. So if we do begin to take them down, it could damage the building. So we just leave them where they are. Come down the level, you're met with amazing stained glass windows everywhere you look around the hall. They're designed by a gentleman called Horatio Walter Lonsdale, and they're all of their zodiac signs, colour coordinated within their rightful seasons, depending on the side of the hall you're on. Then we are in the drawing room, which has amazing ornament. The fireplace, ceiling, stained glass are fantastic enough. But the walls have an even more astonishing collection of religious art, much from the Renaissance. There is no time to linger on the tour, but we can enjoy a few moments now. We go through other extraordinary rooms, but there is no time to linger as we move on to the final masterpiece, the Marble Chapel. And here it is. We're in the wee garden at Mount Stewart, and it's like the only people on the planet. Amazing garden. An hour has passed, and, and there's we're like back nobody the there anywhere at all. It's impossible to think of anywhere else on the planet where you could build this magnificent place and have nobody here. Let's have a look around a bit. Eventually, we tear ourselves away and drive down deserted roads to try and see some seals at Scalpsy Bay. A wonderful beach that's absolutely empty everywhere you look, and unfortunately there aren't any seals. But it's rather amazing, there's a Hebrides over there, and we'll go explore some more. Uh, 
So, we say farewell to the Isle of Butte. The island is soft, easy and almost deserted. Mount Stewart is a gothic masterpiece of a wow, which we could have explored for far longer if we'd had the chance. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and that you choose to visit soon. Thanks for watching.